I'm Elizabeth and thanks so much for joining me on my channel today where we talk about all things health and beauty after 40. Today I'm sharing four of my favorite quick and easy breakfasts that contain plenty of protein. I rotate through these breakfasts throughout the week and I love all of them so it pretty much just depends on what I'm craving and what I'm in the mood for. And it's really hot in Arkansas right now. It's the middle of July and it is sweltering. So I usually eat my breakfast in the mornings after I've gone for my morning walk. So if I'm really hot, then I usually want a smoothie or yogurt or something that's really cooling. Um, and I don't want anything hot. But that of course can change throughout the season. And I also am the kind of person who enjoys more sweet oriented breakfast. So three of these are more sweeter breakfast and then I did include one savory breakfast. But if it's up to me, I'm usually going sweet. Also, be sure that you check out a previous video that I did, which is all about my favorite fridge and pantry staples and things that I pick up every week at the grocery store to stock my kitchen with. I tend to buy a lot of the same grocery items each week and you're going to see a lot of those items show up in today's video. So I'll be sure and link that video here above and also in the description of this video as well. Also, it's so important that I let you know that I am just sharing what is working well for me. I really do believe that all bodies are different, all lifestyles are different, exercise routines, daily activity, etc. And it's important to take all of these things into consideration when it comes to your nutrition and your exercise and all of those things. Also, I'm not a medical doctor or any other medical professional, and I will always recommend that you speak with your doctor or other medical professional before you make any changes to your diet, to your fitness, or any other areas of your lifestyle. All right, let's get into it by starting with talking about why we even need protein in the first place. So protein is one of the major macronutrients along with fiber and fat. And our bodies really do need a good balance of all three in order to be healthy, to have energy for weight management, and to build lean muscle, among other things. So protein provides the basic material for connective tissue, bones, hair, and nails. Protein helps us to build and maintain lean muscle mass when we do resistance training. And it also gives us healthy hair, skin, and nails. It helps us to maintain healthy bones, which is of course so important, especially as we age. And it helps to keep us feeling fuller for longer. These are all wins in my book. All right, so the next question is, how much protein do we need in a day? Well, there's not one right answer here. And that may vary based on factors like how much activity you do during a day, what exercise you do during a day, your muscle mass, and then also your overall health. So the recommended dietary allowance for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So yeah, you've got to convert your weight into kilograms, but that's easy to do with a quick Google search. But keep in mind that that is the bare minimum amount that your body needs in order to prevent nutritional deficiencies. So that's certainly not a hard and fast number for every single person. It's a good starting point. For me, I like to shoot from anywhere between 1.2 grams to 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram of my body weight, which I also converted by doing a quick Google search. And that's because I walk every day, I do a little bit of strength training every day, and I also just noticed that getting plenty of protein helps me to feel fuller for longer, to feel more satiated throughout the day. I also like to shoot for protein to make up about a third of my daily calorie intake so that it's also balanced with plenty of high fiber, unprocessed carbohydrates like fruit, vegetables, whole grains, and some healthy fats as well. But another thing I like to do is space my protein out throughout the day so I'm not just getting huge amounts of protein all at once. So for me, I like to shoot for anywhere from about 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. So about 20 to 25 grams at breakfast, 20 to 25 grams at lunch, 20 to 25 grams at dinner, and I also include plenty of fiber and a little bit of healthy fat with each of my meals as well. So without further ado, here are four of my favorite protein-packed balanced breakfasts. All right, so this breakfast is built around a sprouted grain English muffin. I love English muffins. Um, they're really satisfying with the texture, but I always try to buy sprouted grains because they are, um, they're just more nutrient dense. They're higher in fiber, they're higher in protein. These are low glycemic. I always buy the same brand. It's the Food for Life Ezekiel English Muffin, uh, the Ezekiel 49 Sprouted Grain English Muffin. So I'm gonna toast one of those and then I'm gonna top it with some Greek yogurt. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so I've got my toasted English muffin just in the English muffin alone. 
there's eight grams of protein. So eight grams of protein and uh, six grams of fiber. So again, carbohydrates are good. You just wanna make sure that you're choosing ones that have fiber and protein and are low glycemic, which this is. So I love these English muffins. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more protein with it. I like to top it with Greek yogurt. And so what I look for in a Greek yogurt, I don't have just one brand that I buy. Sometimes it's Faye, sometimes this time I have Oikos, but I always do plain, so no flavor, not sweetened. And I do, um, I like to do fat-free Greek yogurt just cause it's higher in protein and then I can add some fat back later. Um, like I'm gonna add some today and I'll show you. But um, just for this container, it's, let's see, 16 grams of protein. So between the eight and the 16, we're already well on our way to hitting my protein goal for breakfast. Um, 90 calories, so I like to just spoon that over the top of the toasted English muffin. Yum. And I put the whole container. And now I always like to top it with a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon is has anti-inflammatory properties. It also is known to help um, regulate blood sugar. So I always try to top my breakfast with cinnamon. Uh, because it goes so well with sweet. So and I'm gonna toss it with um, probably, this is about a half cup of sliced strawberries. And I do different berries, just whatever I have on hand. So putting those over the top, sometimes it's raspberries, sometimes it's blueberries. If I'm traveling and I'm kind of having to like, um, you know, make do on the go and I don't have fresh berries, I always try to travel with dried goji berries. And that's a great way to get some berries with a, if you don't have fresh. So we got the berries and now I'm gonna add a little bit of fat back to this. Since I have the fat free yogurt, I just wanna make sure I have a little bit of fat with my breakfast. And I've got some pumpkin seeds. This is probably about a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. It's just a tiny bit, but pumpkin seeds of course are high in fat. They're also high in, well, they're particularly high in omega-3 fatty acids, but then a lot of other nutrients as well. So, and because I like sweet, you don't have to do this, but I love sweet for breakfast as I've already shared, and I love this brown sugar stevia. It's a stevia um, erythritol blend, and I just put a little bit over the top, and I really kind of only use this at breakfast. I don't I don't use it through other meals throughout the day, but just for a little bit more sweet. <laughs> if it's sweet enough for you, um, just with the berries, then great, but I buy this on Amazon, and I've got it linked to my Amazon store, but I'll link it below as well. And here we go. This is over 20 grams of protein. I think it's actually about Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna guess around uh, 16, eight, 24, I don't know, 24, 25, 26 grams of protein, which is a great way, and this is so filling, and it's gonna keep me full until lunch, so bon appetit. Okay, this next breakfast is my favorite smoothie. Um, this is the one that I am making all the time right now, I love it so much. So I do have a Vitamix, but whatever blender you have should be fine. Um, I'm gonna start with, I really like to do it with Greek yogurt. I don't always do it with Greek yogurt, but it's the same Greek yogurt that I use when I do my English muffin and yogurt. Um, so this one's Oikos, sometimes it's a different brand, but I always look for around 16 grams of protein. I don't do anything flavored, so it's plain and um, non-fat. And so I'm gonna put this whole container in to the blender. Sometimes I make my smoothie um, with protein powder. I just kind of, just depends on the day. I like to make it with the yogurt, but when I use a protein powder, um, it's usually something like, or so this is grass-fed whey, and I think I picked this up at um, Natural Grocers, and it's kind of the same. It's like 20 grams of protein, kind of the same, um, you know, protein content as the Greek yogurt. So I just kind of use those interchangeably. But today I'm using Greek yogurt. And then I use frozen banana. So anytime your bananas are super duper ripe and you think you need to toss them, just peel them and put them in a Ziploc bag and stick them in the freezer. They're the best ones to make smoothies with. So I'm using just a couple of chunks of banana here. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know, this is probably like a small banana all together, but that adds some really good natural sweetness. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of liquid so it's not too chunky. I usually start with about a half a cup. So I'm gonna add, I really love this one from Calipia Farms. It's toasted coconut um, almond milk. So it's a coconut almond milk blend, zero sugar. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of this. And then what else? So I've got fiber and carbohydrates from the banana. I've got protein from the uh, Greek yogurt. I'm also going to add a little bit of fat in the way of ground flaxseed. 
Um, ground flaxseed is one of my favorite things. It's so good for digestion. So I love to put it in the smoothie, in any smoothie that I make, but it also adds some really healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So I got that, just a tablespoon. And then I'm also gonna add, just to add a little bit more protein, I'm gonna add some of this PB2 powder and just gonna add two tablespoons of that. Um, I don't always use powdered peanut butter, but I already added a little bit of fat from the flax seed. So at this point, I just kind of went for the flavor and for the protein. But like in the afternoon, if I do, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this. If I wanna do like an apple and peanut butter, I do for real peanut butter, I don't do powdered. So I just kind of keep it all on hand. And again, I showed you guys all of that kind of stuff that I keep um, when I did my pantry and fridge stocking video. So make sure you watch that. And then of course, I'm adding a big shake of cinnamon because I told you I always like to try and add that to my breakfast because it's so powerfully anti-inflammatory, but then also um, blood sugar balancing. So I'm gonna put the lid on, blend this all up. And if it needs, I might add like an ice cube or two just to make it a little bit colder. So I'm gonna blend. <laughs> And if you like it pretty sweet like I do, I always add just a few drops of liquid stevia because I told you guys I like sweet in the morning. It's who I am. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, here is the finished smoothie. I did add like three cubes of um, ice to it just to make it a little bit colder. There you go. This is about probably 16 grams of protein in that. And I don't like, I, I don't totally, you know, obsess about my protein throughout the day. I'm just trying to give you guys some examples. So that's 16, this is six. So that's 22. And then there's probably a little bit more in this. That's so probably around 23 to 24 grams of protein for this smoothie. So enjoy. Okay, so this next breakfast is my favorite protein packed oats and I'll show you how to do that. Again, super easy. I've kind of got to be in the mood for something warm right now in the summertime to want this, but some days I do. So I just like these packets of, um, they're just gluten-free home style instant oatmeal from Nature's Path Organics. And these are great to travel with as well. So if we're traveling and I'm not sure I'll have access to a healthy breakfast, I'll just throw a couple of these packets in my bag or my carry-on or you know, if I'm flying um, or just in my weekend bag if we're driving and then all you have to do is find hot water somewhere. So you can find hot water at like Starbucks or whatever, just ask for a cup of hot water. So these are great for travel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a little pan. You can also do this as overnight oats too. Just kind of have to gauge how much liquid you need. So there is six grams of protein in one of these oatmeal packets. I'm gonna add some water. I'll probably start with about a half a cup of water. And then if I see that I need to add more, I can add more later. Just bring that to a boil. And again, if you like your oats, you know, a little bit um, like more watery or just maybe not as thick, then add more water. I'm gonna go ahead and add a big shake of cinnamon, always including cinnamon in my breakfast when possible. And then after just a couple of minutes of the oats cooking in the water and cinnamon, I'm gonna turn the heat off. And then I'm gonna add some protein powder. So I showed you guys this before, but again, this is just a grass-fed whey, a vanilla flavor. So get what you like. And a scoop of this is 20 grams of protein and I don't really need that much. So I'm just gonna add a half scoop, which will be 10. So now we're like at 16. And then I'm just gonna stir all of this up. So this is gonna thicken it with the protein powder. So again, just depending on the consistency that you like your oats. If you want more thinner consistency, add some water. So here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my serving bowl. I like mine a little bit thicker, but you do you. I definitely tend to eat more oats in the winter when it's colder outside and you know I'm really craving a warmer breakfast. Right now it's so hot, I'm just craving smoothies because it's the middle of July. All right, so now what I like to do, I've got my oats in here, I like to top it with um, I like a little bit of peanut butter. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of just regular peanut butter. And I love this one from, uh, this one came from Trader Joe's. 
It's just their creamy, organic peanut butter, salted. All it is is peanuts and sea salt, which is kind of what I try to look for, and nut butter. So, and I like it because it's super drizzly. So there we go. And then I usually just top it with whatever berries I have on him. So today I have blueberries. Any berries though, they're all good for you. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my brown sugar stevia on top. And there we go, protein oats. And that's about 20 grams of protein. Yum. All right, here is another uh, protein packed breakfast that I love. This is the savory one. So again, I'm gonna start with one of my favorite English muffins from uh, Food for Life, the Sprouted Green English muffin. That's so high in protein and fiber. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the toaster while my pan is getting hot. And a little tip, one thing that I love to do on the weekend when I buy um, you know, veggies like peppers and onions and things like that that I would use, you know, chopped up in a scramble like this. I like to go ahead and chop it all up and put it in um, Tupperware containers so that it's ready to go in the fridge. So it's already been chopped. You can see I've already got it pre-chopped, um, the peppers and onions that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna take this and pop it over in the toaster. And remember, there is eight grams of protein in one of these English muffins. So that's already a pretty good start. Plus it also has plenty of fiber as well. So now what we're going to do in addition to that is spray a little olive oil spray in the pan and I'm just doing this like over maybe maybe medium high. And I'm going to go ahead and add these peppers and onions and let them start to saute. Add a pinch of sea salt. Just saute that around the skillet until the veggies get just a little bit soft. In the meantime, I'm gonna use one whole egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. So I do one whole egg because um, there is so much nutrition in the whole egg. Uh, the yolk is where there's a lot of vitamins and nutrients, but there's also more fat there and I want a little bit more protein. So in addition to the one whole egg, I'm also gonna do about maybe a fourth a cup or so of liquid egg whites. And add a pinch of salt. And then I'm also gonna add about uh, just a big handful of fresh spinach to my veggie mixture and just barely let the spinach start to wilt. So I'm going to show you my veggie mixture, if I can keep the phone from flipping. So I just kind of done it until the spinach is wilty. And now I'm going to, sorry about the wobbling, I'm going to pour my egg mixture into the skillet with the veggies. And just scramble it all up. It smells really good. This is also something that I would have for lunch because I actually do tend to kind of crave eggs more for lunch and dinner than I do at breakfast. To me, I just I like them better at lunch and dinner, probably because I like more sweet stuff in the mornings. But this is a great option. Mmm, my stomach is growling. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my skillet off. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle, I don't know, this is maybe a couple of tablespoons of feta cheese, just to add, this adds a little bit more fat and a little bit of protein as well. And I just want it to kind of barely start to get melty. And you can use other cheese if they're, if you don't like feta, use what you like, use what you have on hand. And I'm gonna just transfer all of this onto my plate. I probably should have picked up the skillet, but. And I've got my English muffin on the side. So a balanced breakfast that's full of protein. This has somewhere over 20 grams of protein. I can't fully do all the math in my head, <laughs> um, but I would have to add it up. And then also fiber and um, low glycemic carbohydrates from the 
English muffin. So balanced breakfast, this will keep me full for hours, right up until lunchtime. So I hope you found these protein packed breakfast ideas helpful. I would love it if you would share with me in the comments below which one you are most excited to try. Or if you have a favorite go-to protein packed breakfast, then please share that in the comments below as well because I know we could all benefit from hearing each other's ideas. Also, this video is going to be part of a series that I'll be doing over the next few weeks. So make sure you come back right here, same place, same time next week to get part two of this series, which is all about my favorite protein packed lunches. You can also check in the description of this video below. Once I've posted all of the videos in this series to my YouTube account, I will make sure and do a playlist. So I'll link that playlist with all of the videos below. So it's super easy for you to find them all. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your time with me today. I'm always so grateful for that. And I can't wait to see you again next week, same time, same place. Bye, y'all.